Hi, welcome to Boto3 and Python tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to interact with DynamoDB using Python and Boto3 module. Let's get started. Let's create a table first in uh, Cloud, AWS Cloud. Let's give a name. Let's call this one as uh, Employees table. Uh, we need to provide a partition key which acts like a primary key. Let's call this one as employee ID. And I'm leaving the other settings default here. And let's create the table. So it should take few seconds. Okay, so let's write a first example where we are going to insert data in DynamoDB table. I'm creating a Python script here. Okay, so let's import Boto3 module. So from Boto3, we need to get reference to DynamoDB. So Boto3.resource. DynamoDB, get reference to DynamoDB here. And store that written type in a variable. Uh, from this uh, client, or uh, from this resource, we need to get a reference to the table and we need to put the table name here let's grab table name from the console we gave table name as employees again it returns a table let's refer this table with a variable so using this table uh, I want to insert data into this so meanwhile let's go and check Boto3 documentation uh, about DynamoDB. It gives some information for us. So Boto3 DynamoDB. Boto3 dot resource. Let's check for one more. So yeah, see this code here. So getting reference to DynamoDB. Uh, from DynamoDB, we are getting reference to the table. This is what I have written here. See Boto3.resource of DynamoDB. And from this DynamoDB reference, I am getting reference to the table by passing the table name. After that, it has few attributes. Uh, we are not interested with attributes now. We are interested with the functions. Otherwise, the actions here. Uh, can you notice put item? So we can use this put item method or function to put data into DynamoDB table. Right? So on table, call this put item. And this item is going to be a JSON object. So in case of DynamoDB, the data is stored as a key value where key is the primary key we gave there and the value is going to be the JSON document. So in this case, I need to supply the values I want to insert into this DynamoDB table. So this is the table there. Yeah, employee ID is the key. Let's give it as one. I want to insert name and I want to insert age for example which is a number. So this is a simple JSON object. Employee ID is the key and value is, value is 1 and name is the key and cash fee is the value. Age is the key and 2 is the value here. That's it. 
so when we execute this code so this boto3 module is going to insert this item into this dynamodb table in dynamodb uh, item represents one record and columns here represents attributes that's a convention used by boto3 module as well so in this case this item is nothing but one record but it is stored as a json object internally where its key is going to be the employee id so let's execute this code let's open the terminal python 3 actually boto3 supports python 3 so i need to use this python 3 interpreter here and the function name it is insert dynamodb.py let's execute this code okay so the there is a issue okay client error validation exception when while calling put item okay so employee id is expecting a string but we are passing it as a number let's read in the code again let's go and check the data by refreshing this page you see that we are able to see the data in the table so this is how we insert data into dynamodb using boto3 and what about the permissions look so like how boto3 is able to access aws account so what i have done on my machine is I installed AWS CLI after that I configured access key and secret key on my laptop so because of that Boto3 is able to access my account and it's able to interact with my DynamoDB table